for book one, proposition number 16 of Euclid's Elements. In any triangle, if one of the sides be produced, the exterior angle is greater than either of the interior and opposite angles. So if we start with a triangle, triangle ABC, and we produce one of these lines, or essentially we extend the line BC all the way to the point D, then the goal of this proof is to show that this angle here, this exterior angle, is larger than either this angle or this angle here. So to start this, we first want to use book one, proposition number 10, to bisect the line AC at some point here, which we can call E. So essentially, we now know that AE is equal to EC. And then we can use postulate number one to connect the points B and E. And then from here, we'll use postulate number two to extend this line BE for as long as we wish. So let's extend this to some point out here, which we'll call F. So we just created BE using postulate one and then extended that line to BF using postulate number two. And now let's use book one, proposition number three, which says that if we have two lines of unequal length, that we can cut off a portion of the bigger line equal to the smaller line. So let's cut off a portion of this line EF equal to BE. And let's say we cut it off at this point here, which we can call G. So now BE is equal to EG. And then let's connect the point C and G using a postulate number one. So we just constructed the line CG. And from here, what we want to do is take a closer look at the triangle ABE and the triangle GEC. So right away, you can notice, due to book one, proposition number 15, that this angle AEB here is equal to the angle GEC since they're each vertical angles. So angle AEB is equal to angle GEC, GEC. Though we also know that this line AE here is equal to the line EC, and that this line EG is equal to the line BE. So notice these two triangles share two pairs of equal sides, and the angle between those equal sides is equal as well. So due to book one, proposition number four, which is essentially the side angle side theorem, we know that these two triangles are exactly equal. So triangle AEB is equal to triangle CEG. And since these two triangles are exactly equal to each other, we know that the angles contained within those triangles are equal as well. So in other words, this angle BAE here is equal to the angle GCE here. So let's write that down, that the angle BAE is equal to the angle GCE. And it's important to recognize this because the angle GCE is a part of this exterior angle DCE. And since GCE is just a part of this angle, we know that the full exterior angle is bigger. Or in other words, this angle DCE is bigger than the angle GCE. And since GCE is equal to BAE, we know that this exterior angle here has to be bigger than this interior opposite angle here. And that is exactly what we sought to prove, that the exterior angle is bigger than either this angle here or this one here. And now for this angle, we would use pretty much the exact same argument, but instead of extending this line BC to the point D, we would extend the line AC to some point down here and then bisect the side BC. 
But after that, all of the steps are pretty much identical to what we did here. So I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer, and we can finish this proof with the letters Q, E, D.